Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an empties video, so let's get started. The first product I want to talk about is Face Wipes from TJ Maxx. This is the Dead Sea Elements and I love the fragrance of, fragrance of this and I think because of the packaging, I had really high hopes. I don't know, it's different packaging and it just did not work well it wasn't saturated enough and i had to really scrub my face for it to take off my makeup uh so i wouldn't get these again at the same trip though i had gotten the retin-a or retinol infused ones and i really like these so uh spoiler alert i will show you in my next empties probably those are really nice uh next are another type of wipes these are the moist where is it the kirkland brand I mean, Kirkland Signature, that's Costco, uh, Moist Flushable Wipes. These are for cleaning when you're using the bathroom. And I thought I could use these for, like, you know how a lot of people use baby wipes to clean off makeup swatches? I thought I could use it for the same thing, just to have in my makeup area so that I won't be using my, just from, just my regular face wipes. But these just are not good for that. Definitely will not take off really pigmented products or waterproof products. I just wanted to, to mention that in case some of you were thinking of using it interchangeably, uh, you know, at your makeup or in the bathroom. It's just not good for your makeup vanity area. Next is Vaseline Intensive Rescue Repairing Lotion. And I did cut this open because you'd be so surprised how much is left in something like this or even like a squeezy tube bottle just so much product is left left and if you like it i would say break open that uh bottle and get as much of it as you can out i really like this one and i don't feel like you could go wrong with picking a vaseline uh, lotion and next is the white rose uh sh bleh, sheet mask by nature which i just realized it's a mixture of nature and moisturizer anyway this was a really good sheet mask really saturated I probably could have used it t twice if I thought to think about that uh, this was just a really nice sheet mask and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that again and I get those at H next Mart. is the bio silk silk therapy this is sort of like a hair oil I got it as a hand-me-down from my mom it was I got it like when it was here and it took forever to finish this and the funny thing is I wouldn't repurchase this I love how my hair does feel silky smooth after I use it I have a huge bottle of this that I am going to use up but um, this is a good product. I'm not trying to bash it. Um, well, I'm not bashing it. I just, I wouldn't get it again. I just like to try new things and, um, I'm still trying to find that perfect hair oil. Okay. Another hair product. This is the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Dry Shampoo. I've had this forever. Uh, this was a decent dry shampoo. Definitely out of the ones that I've tried. And I haven't tried many, uh, because I... I know a lot of people will disagree. Um, I like to wash my hair every day. It's just something I think everybody is different. I trust me, I would like not like to wash my hair every day, but it gets so oily so quickly. I just I need to, and there are the rare occasions. Uh, actually, more recently, I've been trying not to wash my hair every day. Uh, but maybe in the winter time, you know, in the summer, you know, you have to shower almost every day. Anyway, this was okay. I wouldn't repurchase. I'm definitely still on the lookout for a good dry shampoo. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Uh, next is... I don't know why this is in here. That's a perfume sample. Um, okay, I have the Face Values Multipurpose Solution. I was saying um, a long time ago that I don't feel like you have to splurge on a contacts solution and this worked at the beginning but for some reason towards the end I feel like it wasn't cleaning my contacts enough so I am now using the Kirkland brand which I do like and you get so much bigger size you get three um in a package you know everything is bulk size at Costco so I wouldn't get these again and I was saying I would I, I retire products that I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because you know there might be somebody new or I want to update you guys on this that's changed uh here's a oh you know what 
I finished this Saban Fit Foot Cream. This was, this is a, one of those like specialty stores in New York City. There might be other locations, although I think it's just New York. Uh, this was okay. I finished it up. Uh, I have to be honest, foot, my foot probably is one of the most neglected besides my elbows, neglected areas on my body. I just don't moisturize it enough and I shit, so I try to, to I finished this up, I use it on my foot. Okay, next is the Clarence in Energizing, I, was, I wasn't sure if I wanted to read you the French or the English, Energizing Emulsion Soothes Tired Leg, Legs. I don't know if it did that, but it, I guess it did. It felt refreshing, this product, but not enough to repurchase. And I am very lucky because my mom got into Clarins a long time ago and she had all these leftover products, so I get to try them out. Uh, I love the Clarins smell on the moisturizers, but I just haven't found something that I am absolutely in love with. So I'm glad I got to try these for free. <laughs> Okay, next, let's see, a few more skin stuff, and I think I have makeup. So let me get all that. I finished up this small, uh, it wasn't a sample, it's a skin food, Walita skin food, really thick moisturizer. If you like that, if you like kind of like that L'Occitane sort of moisturizer where it's thick and it has kind of a strong scent, this is, I think, very similar. I don't like that so uh next is another clarence product this is the body shaping supplement i did not really see a change i use this every time i moisturize and i didn't see a difference i actually had another one and i sold it on ebay because i just wasn't using it uh next are two l'oreal products this is the revitalift miracle blur uh, instant skin smoother finishing cream I really like this and I have so many samples of this that uh, I would only need to buy the full size for a while but this really does at first I thought it wasn't doing anything but I did see after I took a real close look and I did see it filling in my pores so um, definitely like that product then I have the miracle blur instant eye smoother now this is something that I haven't seen a difference yet I do have several more samples so I will keep on trying that uh, makeup let's see I tried the these are all samples too the Maybelline BB cream it was okay but I wouldn't get the full size the same thing with the Clinique acne solutions liquid makeup uh, I might go in for a sample just because I am quite interested in this being an acne uh, good for acne uh, fighting a foundation uh, then I finished up this Etude House Nymph Aura. This is just a highlight. Um, I like this. It's more on the pinky side of highlight. And I just felt like um, it's a lot of work to mix this in or put it on your face. I don't know. I'm just pretty really lazy about it. I wouldn't get a full size of that. I also finished up a fragrance sample. This is the Odin in number 9. And this is a store in NYC. Kind of like that Saban or Sabone store. It's a specialty store. This was really nice. It's a unisex. It's It smells more masculine than feminine. But I really like masculine scents. So this was really nice. If you want to splurge. Because these perfumes are cost like a around 160 something dollars I would say get the number nine uh, I wouldn't get it but I just I'm glad that I uh, then I have three liners here that I really to be honest with you didn't never got to, four liners here that I never got to finish um, this is the LA colors look good liner this brush is amazing it's so tiny uh, but it just it creases on me and transfers so I was just like no it's just not gonna work but it is very black and it's I was trying to fit this brush head onto another makeup product but it just didn't work and since that transfers a lot I'm just not gonna keep it this is the Milani infinite eyeliner this is amazing probably my favorite uh, liquid eyeliner from the drugstore but it just got too goopy and I have to really work hard uh, to get anywhere, to get any line on there, so it's that one.
but once this sets you are good to go it's it's a pretty amazing product and I would definitely recommend I have several other eyeliners that I'm working through so I wouldn't get that right now and this I don't even have to explain to you this is a Gemma Kid uh, I think it's called diamond yeah diamante yeah I maybe used this once or twice and that was it and then I put it away and then I saw it like this. So it's definitely time for that to go. I would have put that Next anywhere near my eye. Next is the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. And this one is in carbon black. And it's just dried up way too quickly. So that is... Do you see how skinny that is? But it just... It's not as intense as it used to be. And I just am not a fan of markers. And the very last product I have is the L'Oreal Miss Mango Voluminous Mascara. And... I did a review on this a long time ago. I love the length and volume it gives me, but there's something in this formula that I think causes my eyes to get really irritated and it's just not worth it, especially since I have so many mascaras that I could be using. Here's the brush. Not bad, but um, I'm going to say I'm allergic to the formula, so I'm going to be dumping this unfortunately and that is my empties let me know what products you've been finishing up lately and i hope you guys are all doing well and i will talk to you soon bye